Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenez the Human, and welcome back to our Bad North campaign. You join us outside of Bajarne. Uh, I really should have looked at what that was called before I started uh, recording here, because yes, that's an interesting one to pronounce. Uh, obviously, we will get ourselves a new unit here. We're currently on five chaps, so a Sith unit would be quite helpful to us. Of course, we do have ourselves two of these lovely... Uh, Holy Grail. So, so we can, of course, bring back a couple of units if we need to. We have these two, but they were fairly basic, so um, I'm not too worried about them for now. If we need them later on, we will indeed bring them back. But for now, we need to head into uh, Bjarne and uh, <laughs> get into here. Okay, you're a, you're an archer, which sadly means we can't make use of you, but we can on this island, so we will do here. Now, of course, if we have that, can we... Oh, is it going to be worth doing an island of three and two uh you know what we can do this with two of our chaps and use the arch to help i reckon we'll be okay yeah let's give it a go um right i'll tell you what we will we'll get rid of elwyn because elwyn's pretty good as well we'll have bran and Patton now at the moment Patton and drudwin uh, actually no drudwin and henwest they're the two who need upgrades on the most actually so we'll probably take one of our more basic chats we'll take um we'll take dridwin for now so then we have brian dridwin and, and good old burgit over here who of course we're better use from going going forward yeah henwas um needs a good upgrade though because henwas is just a little bit of a basic chap right now as is dridwin um they need to go up to veteran before too long because at the moment yeah, they're looking a little bit weak. So we'll use these three. Hopefully this will be enough. If we have to sacrifice down low, we will. We won't have any problem defending the high ground here. Uh, but yes, yeah, going forward. Definitely need Elwyn for the other island. So what's coming into some... Ah, some two-handed sword chaps. So... Probably best if we get the archers here. Yeah, we'll get the archers there ready to get some shots in. Because they can at least take them out. I probably should have got them down the front, but we can do most of our damage nice and early on. They, by the way, as general units... No, this is what... Yes, you're supposed to do that. Uh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> part of the plan here <laughs> um, was very much that they don't go for the houses. They go straight for you. So you need to bear that in mind. Right, I'm going to send them straight to the front this time. I need to be really careful that I don't get them killed. Uh, we'll put you over here. So as I said, obviously they don't have shields, so we can do some good shooting from the edge here. But we need to be very careful that they don't just get themselves immediately murdered, so they need to run off now. Because they get caught up very quickly, and they're already down to the last one. Perfect. Archers, <laughs> a little bit terrified right now, aren't they? Um, I'll tell you what, archers, this time you can just stand up here because I know that these units won't go for the houses. They're actually quite an ideal unit to be facing right now. Um, Archer can shoot from distance. We can then pike them on the hill. Just got caught out the first time. Forgot just how quick they were. But yeah, see that they're already gone. Perfect use of our archers there. Nice to have them back. Um, having hated them before my archer only run, I now very much appreciate them. This brute though is slightly more of a problem because he will go for the house. So what I want to do is get all my men forward this might be a really bad idea but I did the pike charge so I can do some good work here if I really need to no that went all wrong especially shoot them down okay and you please move there you move there and just straight away charge and that's fine that's done the job nice and simply enough Brutes coming in, so I want to just get the charge on them, but we can just block them off. Um, as long as there are no... Yeah, actually, just by themselves, the brutes are fine, because we can give a bit of a pepper with the archers, send them back behind the lines, and now we can simply poke them to death. If you've got them coming at the same time, that's when we might have a problem. But this tactic seems to be working for us here. We'll just... Uh, don't need to get in behind here, and all sorted. Good tactics there. Nice to have a mix of archer and pike. Um, but only for one round, unfortunately. We're going to have to leave the archers. They can come with us if they don't want to die on their home island, but we won't be using you, I'm afraid. Good old Birgit. At least it wasn't one with an ability. 
because we're going to get short on abilities now. We have a, obviously have a chance of here. I don't remember what that flag pertains to, um, but we'll have to see as we go forward. Now, upgrades. Who was it that I've still got? So, got Hen West, Pat on Elwyn. Uh, Hen West, you could do have an upgrade, so we'll go and do that. Pat on and Elwyn are, of course, all on slightly higher position. Fine. So, that's good. We can, I reckon, go to Saltheim now. It's got the same mix of troops. No archers, sadly. Archers are very, very effective at taking out those other lads. And yeah, a very similar island here where if it's brutes, we'll meet them on the beach. If it's the two-handed swordsmen, we'll let them come up the hill to us because they'll ignore the house and come to kill us. And if it's a mix of the two, we'll have to panic and make up our mind. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see about that. So what have we got here? Where are they coming? It's quite a good beach position, actually, because we've got a few straights we can use. We've got the swordsmen, so they're standing on the hills on this particular circumstance. And there are no brutes going to join us. We'll be perfectly safe. We've got the triple pikes going on here. Ooh, a few deaths for us there. You need to go and replenish. Down to three. That, that Ooh, down to four, actually. That wasn't as bad as it looked, but... Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Now, uh, we've got... We've got some Brutes coming in. Do we have anyone else? Just the Brutes. Not too much of a problem. Luckily, we can just poke them at the beachhead here. This rock really helps us. Four Brutes is starting to be annoying, but not too bad. Obviously, with our extra man, good old popular Hen Wass. Uh, yeah, you can get going. It's good for you to get your upgrades because I, I, it's always nice to have the extra body. It'll help us out. Wouldn't mind getting these pikes in behind. Just you can probably reach a few extra pikes in. It's a bit more body to us. Anyone else coming? Don't think so. We should be pretty safe. Roots coming in on that flank. Again, this is a good beachhead for us because there's lots of sort of one bits to plug. Actually, yes, you can get back down here, Elwin, because we do need you to block this house over here. It should be simple enough. As you might predict, that was easy enough for us. And a nice use there of five units, well, six, technically with the archer, across the two islands, just to get sorted. Making sure we know our enemy. And yes, when you know your enemy, you know how you can, well, you know that you can get away with spreading them a little bit. Um, now, what do I want to do? That's bought us a bit of time because we were getting very close to the wire there. We want to go down to the Isle of Sorts, but we also want to go to Muckle Scarry. In fact, Muckle Scarry is more important to me. Essentially, essentially because it's got the item and we need that more than people. We can always resurrect if we have to. And um, we can get ourselves back up to seven, but we don't know if this is going to be a pike. And it probably won't because we've had a pike and an archer so far. I suspect we'll have an infantry on this particular occasion. We'll see about that. I'll work my way to both. We'll probably ignore Stronze over here. We'll go over to Gwilin, Muckle, Scary, and down to Colnholm in the Isle of Sorts. We'll see if we have time for any others. Let's go first across to Muckle Scary because I really want to get the items divvied out, but I'm going to pick our, pick our uh, choice as well. I'm going to use everyone. I'm going to use all four units for this. Um, I'm not going to muck around because these places are really awkward. Yes, they've um, yes, we've got some nice little one block sections, but of course some of it gets a bit awkward. I can't charge too easily. Not the worst, but it could be better. Let's, um, have we actually got any better options here? Henry is slightly superior, so we'll go with that. Should be okay. There's a few archers though, so we do need to bear that in mind. Simple enough beginnings, a few brutes walking themselves into a corner, but I can see some archers, and it's quite a big pack of archers. Now, the main issues we've got with them, we saw a little bit in the last few episodes. Um, we, we can get ourselves in big trouble. So what I want to do is run you over here. You've got an extra man, so I might well use you. But I want to try and get us to slam straight into them. Ideally, I'd like to be around here, but I'm going to get myself shot too much as they approach for that, which is not what I want. And what I want is to get you here now. Here now. I just want to get myself ready for this charge. They've done a good dodge there. Lovely slow motion action. See, they're going to get a few hits on them. And now, go! That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. We are learning. Don't ever tell me that I'm a complete fool because I'm only 89% a fool. There's a small amount of me that learns. 
bit of a slow learner sometimes, but we're getting there. Uh, the, yeah, these are much easier to deal with. We'll just give them a good poking as they land. Just keep our eyes out because this beach isn't too bad. We've got a straight for the arches and we can just outpoke these guys to death. But elsewhere, we might have some issues. Arches and bricks at the same time is more problematic. We're going to do the same trick as last time. But I do want to just be careful about this. So I need to keep these archers away from me. So brutes. We need to get ourselves around here and over here. But those brutes could cause problems because they're going to get in the way of that charge. Um, right. Get there and you get there. That was too early. And back. And now straight through. That should just do the job in one go. You can get into that position and close the trap. Well executed there. Alright, there are some of the jumpy guys in that direction and in this direction. Hopefully we are right with a pike charge on them. What we need though is you over here. Probably not to pike charge them but just to be able to close the trap if we stun them. Oh, I got the timing wrong there and we're just going to have to take the hits on this. That's fine. We didn't do too bad on that. Got to be really careful of the timing. Sometimes this boat's coming quicker than you think. And now we need to do it just as the boat pulls in, remember? That normally gets the timing about right. We got a far extent to this charge. We should be okay with these slow motion tense scenes over here. It's uh, time to go. And we've done it. This is so far fairly textbook stuff. Apart from this bit over here. But we didn't take too much of damage. We've actually got the war horn if we really need it. I'm not going to send him to recover in the house. We're in a good position in general, but I will leave you as reserve for the moment, sir. We can, of course, stand in front of the boat, so it is a good thing to bear in mind. But I think we're in a nice position here. We can poke them from whatever angle they want to come at. Um, so, oof, they got pushed out of position. Uh, yeah, they did get pushed out of position for a moment, but that's because they are the least well-trained, of course. And the shot weapons does mean that it can be knocked back a little bit easier. Nonetheless, victory for us. And we'll play, we're just playing the, the hardball game with the sharp weapons and the uh, extra coin there. Uh, but it worked out. It worked out the good old island of Gwilan has come under our control. We won't try and take anywhere with just two of them, especially as one of them is an archer. We're not allowed to use you. Now, Muckle Scary, new unit. I'm not sure. I keep forgetting all my units, but obviously a new unit coming up. 19 on the upgrade here. So, I'm not going to upgrade Druidwin just yet. Um, albeit, or should I? No. Yes. No. I really want to get up to three on the old elites. That will be the best plan for us. We'll save up our money onto Muckle Scary. But I think. Oh, yes, this is nice. This really suits us. Um, it's just the brute arch when the brute archers come in. That's what we've got to really be wary of. So Brent, Dridwin, Elwin, um, and Henwas. Do I want to swap out Dridwin on this particular occasion? I haven't got the upgrade. Is that going to be a bad plan for us? You know what? The extra coin is not worth it for the risk. We just need to play top guns on this occasion. Over there. We might not need the second charge. I think we'll be all right. That's good. We got on with just the one. That's ideal. We can save ourselves for the next particular moment. Let's get everyone back on safe side because, of course, we can't get back up the cliff there. Don't want to leave anyone in a vulnerable position. Two-handed swords are fine. They are really at disadvantage coming uphill. Their jump doesn't do anything. And, of oh, well, it does something. But it's not as bad. And, of course, yeah, we have no real worries about them. There's a door here, by the way. I hope that doesn't go anywhere. That would be a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? Uh, that's a new thing in the patch. There's a secret door that leads to the house. I don't think so. We should be okay. Ah, there they come. There come the crossbowmen. That is a big problem for us. So, how are we going to deal with them? Well, I probably should have considered that before now. Probably should have considered that. Um, dodging is a good plan with them, by the way. They can only reach so far, but it's a good about eight tiles. So, we're going to have to try and hide for as long as possible. They are, they're just going to walk into our range. Okay, we are just going to have to go and take this position. We don't have any items. Oh good, he's walked straight into us. 
That is such a problem. <laughs> okay, we're just going to have to hold back at the moment. Just let the crossbow guy do his business for a moment. We just need to poke these guys out. He's just about in range. Just go into him. Just pile on top of him. That's fine. Um, we can flood them on this particular occasion. And because of the angles it's actually and the height is quite hard for them to shoot us that easily. But... Yeah, if there's a big section of them, we might need to be fairly bold. We need to get forward very quickly. Okay, you've taken way too much of a knock there. You head around here. Ow! That's not good. Get around there now very quickly. Oof, that's got so many of them. You're going to have to replenish right away. I think our best chance is just to charge them, frankly. And you need to do the same over this side. That is a horrendous, horrendous moment for us. Pike charge. And Hemus needs to get back immediately. Yeah, you can see just how her... Oh, they are going to be such a problem for us. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. Bran, you are our strongest at this point. I'm kind of glad we've held you back because we need you. And when you also go and retrain, you're both incredibly weak. Yeah, those, especially because we're such a tight formation. If we're looking strong, it's perfect for the crossbows. So what I want is, Bran, you're there at the front. Archers are coming in way too quickly for my liking. Ah, uh, if I... Ah, I could have got them in sooner, but I have it now. Right, we're just going to have to stand there for a moment. And... No, we're going to have to pull back. Pull up to the top of the hill. Archers are going to struggle shooting up, so we'll just have to take out the brutes and take a few hits. Way too many hits. Pull back. We just charge them. Okay. Um, no, they're gone. Now we're just going to run down the hill. Particularly you, Bran, and you guys are also fully healed. We'll just run into the archers. It's the only, the only way at this point. Just sheer numbers will do the job. Pokey, pokey, pokey. They're a bit confused. And continue on them into the corner. Okay. We know archers are the big problem, <laughs> but yes, the uh, the brute archers are a significant worry because it pulls us out of our defensive stronghold. But we get a warhammer. Oh, thank Jeebus, we needed that warhammer. It's going to be an important item for us going forward. Now, the only thing is, first of all, item uh, upgrade pattern up to full elite pike. That is, us three elite pikemen now. And Paton, of course, quicker replenish. That's always nice to have for one of us. Um, heavy load. And, okay, we're looking good. Druidwin, Druidwin, Druidwin. We've now got ourselves Bomb. And we've got ourselves a Warhammer. So, this is interesting. This is interesting. We have a few items we need to make use of. And we are starting to get the setup where we can make our mind up with these. Now, going forward, I think I need to know what my top four are. And I think at the moment it's going to be Henwas rather than Drudwin because the sharp weapons is a bit of a, a double-edged sword and it's not particularly good for pikes, in my opinion. So Henwas, Henwas, Henwas. Ideally, I'd like mines to be with Fleet Foot if I ever got that, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get lucky with it at this stage. Um, in terms of what's left, Warhammer would be an item that I really need to make use of. Now... Quicker replenish on extra item use. I don't know. We're going to make up our mind on that. Probably time to head into Cornholm then, but I think it's probably time we do actually assign weapons here. I would suggest Bomb is a good plan for old Elwyn here, which is lovely. I I, I believe that's uh, how it's how his ability is going to work. He should get an extra Bomb. I think that's right. If I'm wrong, well, I've just wasted that. Warhammer... I'm thinking, obviously, it makes sense for one of these chaps over here to get it. Now, we did the Ring of Command as well. Not Burgit. Burgit's not useful to us. Um, but yes, between Paton, a quick replenish, Dridwin for deals damage increase, and Henwas for popular squad size. We could make it a super, super squad size, which is uh, does sound fun to me. So I might well go for that on you, good old Henwas. Perfect. I'm hoping that it now increases to 13 and it doesn't literally just do it as 12. Um, and then we have the Warhammer, which I guess it would at this point go to Paton. 
quicker replenish if you're going to get yourself right in the front line with the Warhammer. Maybe that's going to be necessary. And actually, that's probably a decent bit of thought process. I'm just going to hold back for a moment, though, because I can see, A, we've got this one here. I'm not sure which trait this is. I don't know if that's fearless. Um, and this one, though, is definitely the fleet of foot. So once we get down to, to Bere, hopefully we've got ourselves a pikeman with fleet of foot. That's, that's really what I'm looking to see, but I don't know what unit we're going to get. So over to Cornholm first. And is it worth me doing this? Oh, actually, worth very quickly thinking. There's a unit here. So can I do this one with three? And then I can do the next one with three as well. That one's quite flat, though. Might be asking for problems to do it with um, three units. You know what, let's just do it full full set of units for the moment. Let's just get ourselves set because we um, we do have archers on this island. And yeah, we have archers along with the brutes and these could be a problem. Bit of a hill, nothing too much, but it means we can at least defend the final house easy enough. And in fairness, we can at least get pike charges in along this beachhead here and block this up. So it's not the worst place in the world to defend. Nice to get Elwyn out with the bombs, though, at last. Good old Patton have to wait for the moment. Um, not too many ways. Well, there are actually quite a few ways up. There's three ways up here. But with four units, we'll be absolutely fine. So we'll just use our... Yeah, we'll use our main four, I think, on this occasion. Let's see what it throws at us. First lads to rock up are the double hand swordsmen, which is ideal because, of course, they will... Yeah, try and head straight to us and not the houses. Um, but we will need to move forward as we go along. Now, I must. <laughs> Henrass does look spectacular here with this large force of pikes. I do love it. So, actually, you can block up that little pass there, which is a marvellous little plan for us. We are in a good position here. They can, of course, get onto this little hill, but that hill doesn't seem to let them back down the other side, from what I can see. So we'll just use our sheer weight to hold them back. Archers coming in. We should be okay. We've got ourselves plenty of distance here to work with. Um, more of these chaps over here. So we'll keep an eye on the speed of these two arrivals. This one looks a lot quicker. Hopefully we'll take them out and we'll get ourselves lined up for a poke charge. Just need to keep an eye that nothing goes wrong here. There they are. They've arrived. They're going to get themselves killed before the archers arrive, which is literally ideal for me. Oh, yes, we have ourselves bombs, don't we? Let's just get ourselves using a bomb. I can't quite remember how we use them. But, yep, yeah, throw a bomb. Boom. Oh, I forgot it does have knockback for yourself there. Be careful with that. I'm not a particular big fan of the bomb, but we've, um, we've got it to use, so we'll have to get used to that. I like the mines a lot more myself. Um, I just feel like it, it just buys you time. Bombs go a little bit too in your face. A bit risky for my mind. Mines at least, although they don't always work, they um, they do buy you that bit of time. So it works for me. I just realised they're obviously just going to come down, aren't they? So we'll just get in their way like that. Archers coming in. That's fine, we'll deal with the brutes already. Doesn't look like too much else is coming in. Luckily and easy, of course. We normally have time to let people come on in. Okay, we'll just have to buy, yeah, be really careful with this because there are quite a few of them. But that charge should do the job beautifully, especially with the extra men. Magnificent. Ah, archers. Ah, yeah, this is what I don't like to see. Um, however, I do have bomb. So, using the bomb could be a good plan. You just get in there. I should have done that ages ago. But um, we'll have to see the best way of doing this. I might actually get you to go and back them up. What I really want to do, though, is get the bomb off here. And I'm going to throw it into this area just as they land. I think that's going to be the ideal plan. It's just it pulls up. I'm really not very experienced with the bomb, it should be said. You'll probably be seeing this in the next... Uh, Next minute or two. Boom! That did really, really well, actually. I'm very, I'm exceedingly pleased with that. Of course, we were out of position for that. But it's not too much of an issue. Okay. Bomb from the hill. Much better way of using it. Otherwise, you blow yourself up. That was a good example of how to use the bomb. It's not an item that's come up for me very much at all, so I'm pretty inexperienced with it. Seems to get mines in every game I play. Got the cornholm taken. 
we can of course go on to the next turn. I, uh, I could do that, but I don't like to do anything with arches, particularly under. And also this this is clearly an island full of everybody, so I need, I need to have my strongest set of men for this. Although it's even worth getting it because we'll see what's, what unit is. See, it's just infantry. Honestly, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to carry on moving. I'd rather keep moving forwards onto rock. Um, and I want you to keep myself ahead, actually, because we're getting to all the flat islands here. And actually, open flat islands are okay for us, but we just need to be careful about what we're doing. We don't walk ourselves into a corner here. So I'm going to ignore the Isle of Swords. I don't need infantry. Um, good luck, Devin. I hope... <laughs> I hope you uh, I hope you do well by yourself, but uh, as an infantryman, it's not worth my time. Uh, it was worth the money for the archers, but yes, as I said, let's just get ourselves ahead of the game. We can start to mop up all of these islands and see what else there is going forward. I really want to get to Berry and, of course, Hester today. That'll be a nice place for us to um, just kind of leave things before what will be the final charge, because we're getting up to island 40 there. So over to Rock and... Big open island, lots of different troops on there. I think, since we can't see the next island of wrong and that's quite big, I think we're just going to go all units once again. I don't like this island. I can say that with quite a bit of confidence. Uh, but they're obviously going to have to come over to this square here to burn the house, which means I should be able to charge them. Um, yeah, I can get a good double charge on them at that point. So we'll just have to hold back. Just check there are not any other boats right now. They are just going to try and shoot us. Okay, let's pull back and pull forward. And now we should be able to get our charge in. We're going to take a big bit of damage. But of course, I specifically chose this unit because it has lots of men in it. So, fortunately, you've got to walk around here just to finish them off. There we go. Now, get out of there right now, you madman. Of course, um, over to that house, nice and far away. Have to do a very similar thing this time, but I think it's going to be a better idea with Bran, since you can recharge yourself pretty easily as well. For a bomb! Okay, that's okay. I think we'll just flood these guys, I think that's fine. Um, we are too near to lure those into our trap, so we'll just pull them into their usual position. And we'll continue. Oh, archers are so awkward. So incredibly awkward for me. Run him. Okay, we are now getting more of them coming in. Um, we don't have any hills to defend ourselves against these guys, and I do not like Sharp Weapon Man by himself. I'm gonna throw you over here. And I would like bomb into there. Now, that did a really good job. Great use of the bomb there, sir. Oh, I've got the sharp weapons again. Ooh, that's a lot of damage for Sharpie. And a lot of damage for Bran as well. What else is coming in? I need to make my decision. Um, Bran, you just warhorn. And you just need to heal. Uh, okay, this pike charge sometimes is really awkward to get the order away. Oof, that house almost burnt down. Almost got burnt the biggest house down. It's so quick as well. Um, Ten monies, victory, and we are doing a decent job here today. We are learning how to use our bomb. We've got a few of the weapons set out, and we are moving forward. I think, I think I'm feeling confident at this point. It's just how many of these brute archers we come across. You get a dark rock down there, tempting you in with all the money. I do not think that is a sensible one for us at all. We do not need to throw everything away. Go to next turn. And I think a couple islands here, I can make some good money. Um, but I do need to get down to Berry. Oh, and to Norby. What items are left? What have I got left? Mines. Uh, I've got the Jug, the Habena, which I really don't want. That's about it, really. I've pretty much picked them all up, haven't I? Um, okay, we want to go to Mac around. We might go to Crunch just for some extra money, but it might not be worth the risk for what looks like six at best. So yeah, I think Mackerel Mound for now will do us just fine, but we do have 20 upgrade here, and I think we know that we want to... Uh, 
yeah, get someone upgraded with this. I would suggest Home West. It's a good choice here. Up to full Elite Pike. Trudwin, you'll have to come afterwards. And, oh yes, of course we can get that up to plus two per island. That can be a very useful little item to have, in fairness, particularly on hard. Although, again, it is one of those things where you use up another item you could have. But if you get it right at the start, just do it. Even if they die, you know, you've gained a few coin out of it, so uh, can't complain with that. So we've got ourselves Crunch and a Mackerel Mound to go for. I'm going for Mackerel Mound first, and we'll, we'll kind of judge what our timings are and our options are before we head on. Just using the free units here, we're going to charge in as the boat lands here. I'm just taking a bit of a risk with this, but it's only the double-handed swordsman and the archers, so I feel fairly confident that I can just pull off a nice little charge to take them out without too many issues. Hopefully we'll see that pattern continue on this island. Uh, don't really want any trouble, so hopefully that'll be what we see here. Into position. And now charge. And you, you're in big trouble. They're in huge trouble. Sharpie! <laughs> Alright, good old Sharpie. Oh, you really can't take those jump attacks, can you? Alright, old Sharpie has survived the one hill. Um, now we've just got... Oh, thank Jeebus of the... Of the somethings. Um, just these lads here will come straight up the hill and die to the pikes. That is just what we needed. I hate archers so much. Why are they so demonic? Um, yeah, we're still going to take a bit of damage, obviously. The leaping attack is always problematic, but we're largely done now. Um, this is a bit risky, partly because I've actually got some of the less strong units together on this particular occasion. Archers are coming in. We're just going to have to... Um, oh, actually, they're going to land in time for me to charge them. I think we... I think they are, you know. Yeah, get in that corner, sir. Blow your war horn. Reinforcements will come. You really needed your reinforcements in. Come on, you! No, get up there! Get up the hill! Again, down to one. You can see there the difference. He just doesn't hold like the others do. Um, but okay. He held twice with one. And left. Just paid enough attention to that. Um, bit risky. Probably unnecessary. But uh, there's Mackerel Mount. And do I want to take on Crunch? I think I do. I think I do want to do Crunch with just what I've got left. Um, probably worth just thinking about what upgrades I have. Elwyn and Henwas. Oh yes, I only have, only have two. Well, that was pointless, that risk, wasn't it? Because I didn't have a third one. I'm a fool. I keep forgetting about Birgit here. Should I send Birgit to die on an island? I could do that. That would make life a little bit easier. Um, no, that's just me being foolish really isn't it i could bring someone back to life though i just don't plan on doing that uh let's just go to the next turn <laughs> really didn't need to do that with three. Oh, it's a good training exercise lads you survived you survived good old dreadwin really need to give you the upgrade you being a basic lad at this stage is just suicidal all right i'll leave you out of uh brennick then we'll head in there and this time you'll hopefully be okay topography of this island is horrendous for me not only because um you have to kind of wangle your way all around to kind of get anywhere. But also, we have lots of these little scraggles. They're the worst because I can't actually use a pike charge on them. Um, basic swordsman on this side. Two-handed swordsman over there. That's fine by me. I'll just hold that. But the archers over here, they really need to come into me. They should come... Oh, they've come that way to go deal with a house. So, you can get a pike charge in like that, push them into the sea, and you, sir, get yourself over there in good time. Normal lads have been taken out without any issue, of course. Let's move back, heavy man, and we should be okay. Lots of... Oof. <laughs> um, bombs are much better at height, but we could get a good bomb off somewhere around here. Actually, of course, they're going to just charge us, aren't they? Let's just get our two strongest chaps um, to go and support. Anyone else coming in? I don't think so. They should come straight to us, but you never know. You never know. We'll, we'll send you over here, and if you need to throw a bomb, if they want to come around that way, then that's what we'll do. Yeah, they are going to do that. Throw a bomb! Oof. They, they did a bit of damage, but not too much. We want to clear you up in that direction just in case they come in there. Yeah, we're fine. It's always a bit hard to tell where they're going to go. 
Uh, you sir, with the bomb. Luckily, the bomb did its job. But yeah, they're very quick, those chaps, aren't they? Very quick indeed. Find a wave of tons of archers coming forward, so I'd really, really like to deal with these basic lads in good time. Um, perfect, we're going to get those all dealt with. You are getting shot at, which is annoying. All, look at all these archers coming in. It's not worth pike charging. It's a waste of my pike charge at this point. It's fine, they shot the wrong guys. You need to run here and then run back immediately. Good, little poke on your way through. Now, everyone else. Let's leave one of you there. You can, though, come over here. We need everyone in this direction. Okay, move forward. And where are they going? They're sort of running all over the place. Honestly, they can do what they can. That's fine by me. Uh, we'll just try and hold to these charges. We will deal with them. Now, what we need to do is get a pike charge into here. Ah, oh, they're not going to... They're not going to... We need to pull them forward first. There we are. They've taken the bait. Do the charge, sir! Splatty, splatty, and finish them off. Okay. Not too many issues apart from the wiggliness of the archers. But again, that would have been a problem with two or three units. So I'm sending them all in at this point. Awkward Island. An awkward island indeed. And when we're getting lots of little groups of archers, that'll be an issue because we can't use our pike charge if they're all separated. However... However, 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 we do have Berry, um, and this is quite a good one for a bit of quick money as well. We're getting very near the end now, aren't we? Very near the end indeed. Right, well, we'll, we'll just proceed for the moment. Berry is an important one. What are we going to get here? Come on, Pikes. Damn, it's an archer, which is so annoying because Fleet of Foot would be lovely to have. Um, bit of a shame, bit of a shame. However... We can send maybe three to one island and two to the other and see what we can do. Slightly wide though, because it's archers, and archers, as we know, are a bit of a pest. Um, but it's just the basic lads, basic lads and archers with a bit of support. I'll tell you what, if I send in two to Berry with the archer, I reckon the archer can help us out there and we'll be all right. So let's do that. Great to have some proper archers once more. Get your shots in, lads. Pull back. Pull forwards. Lovely work. Give them a dodge. Bit of a hit on us there. Yeah, we'll just take out the archers before they even land on this occasion. Which is what we're really looking for. The archers certainly make dealing with archers a bit easier. Actually, on this occasion, send you up to the hill because a bit of height will just at least protect you. So you get your shots in. We'll just leave... Our pikes over here. Should be able to just take those out from a distance of any luck. Bit inaccurate at this height, but at least we're safe, which just saves them to deal with the others. If we send you over here, send our pikes out of the way, we'll just be able to get some shots in. Bit of an awkward one. What do we want to do? Get ourselves into position here, and we'll just charge through. Great work. Oh, there's one left. Hard to see. <laughs> Hard to see exactly what's going on here. Uh, these are basic lads, so... Actually, archers, it's probably a good time for you to replenish. So let's just get our chaps to the beaches. Uh, actually, it's a bit of an awkward one to position ourselves with. Um, yeah, we don't have anything else here, do we? No, just this. We should be okay. Yeah, we're just going to get to hold position, because you can obviously hold... The beach head against the boat without getting yourself killed. Lovely stuff. Archers are back. Get under the cliff top. Start shooting your archer friends. They'll go splatty splatto. And as for these ones, we'll just buy our time with them. There we go. One more volley should do the trick. Missed annoyingly. But now you can run all the way over here. Don't want Bran. I want our archer friends. And that'll distract them as we just run our spears into them. Splatty splatty. Pokey pokey. And what's coming up for us now? More archers. Uh, just the spears over here. We'll just put Brown over there to hold. And you can just get into that position. Give yourself a little charge. 
It's just a hope. This is where I wish I could tell them what to shoot because I very much want them to be shooting uh, the archers at this point. Need to be really careful that he isn't poking the wrong way here. Um, yeah, brank and hold. I think we knew that. And we'll just get them to charge in there. You just to run back. That's fine. A um, bit slow on the support there, but it's not the end of the world. Fortunately, it comes just as archers are arriving. So we do need Bran to come and give us a charge, but otherwise, we're in a good position. Those archers are really going to be in trouble. I should just get them healed, honestly. There's not a lot I can do to help them. Uh, but we can get a huge charge in here with Bran. Oh, yes, here they come. Splatty, splatty. Are you going to get your charge back in time? No, we're just going to have to smash into them with sheer numbers here. They're, when they're in a corner, they're in trouble. <laughs> oh, good work. You get to live for now, I guess, Fleety. It's a shame. Shame we don't get um, don't get the bunny hot to join us. But Fleet of Foots. New starting trait. I would have loved that for this campaign. It's a shame. Oh, well, when we do infantry only then, we'll at least have Fleet of Foot. That's nice to have. 22 on the old upgrades so we're getting to around the point now we're gonna finish things up with a grand finale at Hester over there sharp and say over here I'm gonna try and take this out now I have plenty of men to do the job of course they are fatigued so I've got three men to do this it is a big big island we've got ourselves jumpy men but of course we'll just come up the cliff and die we have archers who we can just panic and hopefully kill. So, <laughs> deploy our free troops here. Right, as so they come in, I think a bomb throw from up on the cliff here is going to be mighty grand. Throw! Ah, got it wrong. That's annoying. At the end of the world. But, a bit irritating nonetheless. Oh, well, we'll live and learn. Live and learn with that one. But, we cleared them out fairly simply. Um, I do like the idea of the bomb from up there, but unfortunately I'm, I'm not very good at using them. Good old spikies over here. Um, we know these guys are going to throw themselves to their death, so it's probably worth just getting up to the hill. You go and stand on that position. Just mean that we can defend them from the heights, which gives us the best possible advantage. Lovely, they'll go splat splat. Need to keep an eye. Oh, are they stuck? Are they waiting for their friends? I think they're waiting for their friends, which is kind of annoying. It's a bit irritating, but I want to take them out now because I can see archers coming and I need to go and deal with them. Um, if we can bomb these, that's fine, but the reason I threw the bomb so early is because these are so quick to move that they become a little bit worrying. So what I want to do this time is throw the bomb slightly in this direction just for where they're going to be getting moving. So if the boat pulls up, we're going to lob it here, I think. Ah, too slow again. Rubbish use of the bomb today. Uh, they are chopping us apart because we are out of position. We're all terribly, terribly out of position. You said get in the house now. You said you need to pull out of there desperately. You absolute fool. You were always going to get yourself killed, weren't you? We're losing the house down the bottom. That's going to go... Um, just get on top of them. They're annoying me now. You need to die very quickly. Um, we've lost Spiky McGee, but Spiky McGee was always a bit of a bit of a useless one for us. Get out of there. Go back. They're going up the house, which is annoying. Oh, Pike charge into there. That's largely got them. I've right, got them a little bit. Good old Spiky McGee is dead, as we always anticipated. There's so oh, there are more archers around there. There's way too many here. We need to stop taking the mick, actually, I think. <laughs> Start fighting them properly. Oh, my days. There are a lot coming. Just to get on top of them, we need them as powerful as possible. You need to just go and finish this off yourself. We cannot deal with you being down here. Get up there now. They're too quick. Way too quick, way too quick, way too quick, way too quick. Okay, you're just going to get behind the lines in time. Okay, luckily no more archers coming in. This is um, not the best one, but uh, we did the job. Okay. <laughs> okay. We might well heal Spike in the key, but 
I told you, sharp weapons is not good for the pikes, and it's really coming to fruition today. Um, poor Druidwin. Oh well. What's the point of the jugs if we never bring anyone back, you ask? Well, only the useless people are dying, so I'm not particularly worried about them. So you have that, you are upgraded, you are there, and Henwas. Um, okay, so we have the main people we want upgraded. Um, now, bomb, 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 bomb. We have ourselves a limited range with the pike charge. That's interesting. So that's a small gain. I'm not sure how useful that really is. But we do have a fair bit of money to spend right now. We've got a Bridget and Ginsey over here, who of course we aren't going to use. But yeah, we now have four. Four men to really sink our money into. Now, I haven't actually used the Warhorn an awful lot. But what I think is, seeing as we haven't got... Um, yeah, seeing as we haven't actually ended up getting Fleet of Foot as a uh, lovely appointment, I'm going to get the Warhammer, sir. And I'm going to upgrade that straight away, because I think the Warhammer upgrade is certainly one that's going to be useful. Um, get the Ring of Command up to 16. That is a lovely, lovely thing. Up to 17, of course, with everything else that's gone on. So ship and say, definitely not worth it. We lost one of the houses anyway. But there we go. There we go. That's the way it falls. Sometimes that's the way the crookie cumbles. The crookie cumbles. That's that's fantastic English right there. All right. Um, I would say we are getting to the end of today. Let's head into Hester, which of course is um, our going to be a big battle. See, it's got lots and lots of troops. It is one of our checkpoints. A good place for us to stop for the day. We are at about 30... Well, I've reached over here to 39 and, of course, uh, 39, 40 even. So, yeah, about 50 is near enough the end or so. Uh, Hester it is. And we have four full strength units, in essence. As good as they can be. Let's have a good look at the island topography as we start here. A little bit open around the houses if I am completely honest but we have a full strength 17 man elite unit here in Hinwas magnificent Bran of course sure-footed elite troop has himself the Warhorn we can pull that out anytime we need to get extra troops in Pat on front line just warhammer them into the sea Elwyn throw bombs just I don't know cause chaos I, I'm not any good at using them uh, we'll see <laughs> We'll see how this all unfolds because this is going to be an issue when the ballistas start coming. There is not enough cover on this island. Um, so, obviously, anyone landing over here, we can largely just block off like that. There's a couple archers, and we've got ourselves. I haven't seen those lads in quite a while. Um, in general, I reckon this is a good chance for the war. If they arrive. Oh, no, they're going to arrive early, aren't they? Let's get some of our men over here. I'm just going to overwhelm those two archers. They're way too... Just just, just not important, basically. Uh, we'll send you over here. So we'll just get our positions covered over there. All right, they're not archers at all. There we go. Straight into them. Weirdly, that charge worked. Ow! I don't like the axes. The axes are really irritating, of course. Okay. Good, 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 good. Hopefully, I've learned how to see. Um, well, I just had to see, really, uh, because I clearly couldn't back then. Actually, I'm going to send you there because Bran will be a little bit wasted on that. I will, I will get you to Warhorn if you've got any trouble. But I just want to hold that back. Um, possibly could have got a recharge out and recharge you. Just get the recharge done. Um, look how huge this unit is. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, that is just the best. Okay, some basic lads coming in over here. Um, what have we got there? Some normal swordsmen, not a problem at all. Luckily, our recharge has been complete. I did anticipate that taking a little bit longer, but there's no issue there. Co covered that position. Yeah, you really need to recharge after this, I think. I think I'm going to do that with you, sir. You should have plenty of time to do it. He's going to walk himself straight into problems. Okay, go and recharge. I know you've got the Warhorn. We might need it yet. No need to waste it at this stage. More swordsmen. Luckily, not archers, which obviously will annoy me. 
so we'll just use you for the time being and then we seem to have enough time to get the healing done right we should be in good position here the brutes i just want to walk through there you to turn around please perfect um not enough axes being thrown for that to be an actual problem and over on this side we need to get you over to just actually stand in front of where the boat ends up landing actually i want rather you to switch around yeah and we'll just send these two to go and cover that position this is pikes doing what pikes do well here which is just getting in the way plugging gaps and it is so nice to know that i've sure footed because that sure footedness just means i can rely on bran so much and i'm ne never fearing for bran i'm sure you can find plenty of clips where i was definitely fearing for bran um, this is where I would probably like just to rush a warhammer in. Quite a few coming in, particularly the archers. I yeah, I'm just gonna. Obviously, I need to just be careful that I don't get myself killed. Um, that did a beautiful, beautiful job. Perfect. I'm pretty sure there's no commentary for about eight seconds there. <laughs> so I'm really focused. Um, anyone coming on the far side? Just some basic lads. Honestly, do I want Brad? Oh no, actually, this is a huge amount of men. Let's get you over here, and then Bran, you will be fine by yourself. But um, yeah, I want the I want sheer numbers on this particular occasion. Um, honestly, I could throw a bomb in. It's about there. That might be a good idea. So we'll just see about this. We'll just let the boat come in. Boom! I did not my own back there. I've got to be really careful with that. I did the job and not too precarious. Um, I'm not sure I actually read the icons, but I just saw so many that I just assumed. I just assumed that we would have some crossbowmen, but of course we didn't see any of them because they had the big skull things on top. So yeah, no brute archers in that checkpoint, uh, which means that we are just about okay. Fine, fine, fine. Well, we'll leave it there for today then, ladies and gentlemen. So we click on to next turn. Um, not too far to go. Not too far to go. I suggest it'll be two episodes. One will probably literally just be the final island. So next time we'll work our way there and we'll see how close we can get. We, of course, now have Bran up to fully trained elite. We'll get some of these upgrades sorted. In fact, I think the extra Warhorn... Um, is going to be a good thing for us. An extra use over there. So that'll be nice to have, won't it? Re extra reinforcements at the moment, but one extra use will be lovely. We can start throwing it out when we need it. Elwyn, fully trained elite at this point. Got himself the bombs. I think I've misused that ability completely, I think. <laughs> but oh well, it's all fine. Patton over here has himself um, quick replenish, which is useful because he's going to be on the front line with the wall hammer. That was very effective there when the archers can cause us a bit of annoyance. Uh, popular, just a huge amount of men because we've got him the ring of command as well. We will upgrade some of these pike charges. I'm going to focus on four. Obviously, I do have the uh, the three here um, that I could use um, and could bring back with my two cups, but I want to keep them for any of my best men in case they ever should fall um, but honestly, it would be nice to have some extra troops. Two more items around. So we'll be going on to those very, very soon indeed. And maybe we are doing another pikeman if another unit comes up. They might just get ourselves a very elite troop for that. But before we leave us today, of course, we must say goodbye to good old Druidwin, who I said at the start, the sharp weapons, as good as it might sound, is really not, not good enough <laughs> for pikes. Um, the extra knockback that they take is uh, just not conducive to anything. I know I've slightly under... I've, I've always left you last Druidwin, but really, you were never really meant to be a pikeman. You were never meant to be a pikeman. Shop weapons may be, may be extra nice on an archer or some infantry. Probably infantry, I suppose. But really, really, this wasn't how your life was meant to be. Maybe I won't bring you back for another time. We'll see about that. We could do with some extra money. I don't know. But, Dridwin, it was, it was good knowing you. Maybe we'll see you in the next life. But sadly, we have no Melisandre at the moment, so we will leave it. In the great grim north, um, we are very close. Very close to salvation, but we're not there yet. 
I will leave you for now. I'm Thomas, this is Tenez to Human, and this has been Bad North Pike Only Campaign. Thank you, and goodbye. Execute. Sorry! A lot of arrows coming in. That's a lot of jam. <laughs> the red line of doom is not your friend anymore, sir. No, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> Come on! Come on! No! <laughs>